Hey guys, Slice here. Yeah, I'm sorry if there was a little delay there at the beginning, but for some reason my recorder's not recording like the first 10 seconds of the vid. But anyway, Slice Heart Shot here, guys, and uh, today I'm just going to be hunting uh, Hirschfelden. I think I might have said that right. Not sure. But anyways, um, yeah, I wasn't even going to record this episode, or yeah, I wasn't even going to do a recording, really, except for... Uh, I came in here just to do some pheasant hunting because I'm bored tonight, not a whole lot going on, and uh, just thought I'd come out and start blasting away at some pheasants, and so far I've already just killed a, a male wild boar, and I walked out into this first field, I look over, and I got a small roe deer buck coming in, um, I think I got a couple more pigs out in the field, and a flock of pheasants, so let's see if I can't shoot this roe deer with the bow. And maybe those look there's that roe deer right there not bad for me I mean I haven't really hunted roe deer much and uh, I apologize if it's uh, a little shaky because uh, for some reason they pretty much just defaulted my aim sensitivity and my look sensitivity and uh, for pheasant hunting, I like it turned up all the way. Um, I like to be able to swing on them pheasants pretty fast. So if that roe deer keeps coming that path, he's actually, he's pretty nice for me. All right, he's 49 yards. And uh, I'm just wearing an orange, uh, blaze orange shirt because I just planned on um, shooting some pheasants and maybe sticking a pig, you know, if I got the chance. I don't have any scent killer on so I don't know which way the winds going I know there's some pigs out there and uh, so yeah I'm gonna try to shoot this roe deer passing by let's get down oh that's kinda weird and there's pheasants right out there too I know this roe deer's got to be. Wonder if he veered off or not. <clears throat> no, I hear him. Oh, he's right there. Let me just back up. Stand up, get a range on him. He's going to bust 19 yards. That's perfect.
Alright guys, we're back and uh, I got this pheasant coming across the road. So I'm just going to get the gun ready in case he decides that he's going to just take off flying anytime because they don't hunker down on roads. You got to wait for him to get over there on the grass. And I don't even think he'll hunker down between that hill and the road here. So I got to be ready to uh, swing on him quick. I do got some females over there. I figured, yeah, they'd be coming across the road soon enough. But when he gets in this grass, I'm going to stand up. I'm just going to go ahead and aim now in case he decides he's going to take off when I stand up. Hopefully I don't whiff this. There he goes. He's going to go. Oh, he hunkered down. Oh, what's he gonna do? Let's whistle him up. I knew she was just a little too far, but I tried for her anyway. Listen to them roe deer barking at me over there. <laughs> Pretty fun. Alright, got another one. Yeah, I let him take off just a little bit more than the last one. <clears throat> About the same, same score as the other one. Just like 22 or something. But, uh... Yeah, uh... I got great news today. Uh, my... My old man ended up sending me a text saying that he bought me a Bear Kodiak Magnum Recurve bow for my birthday. It'll be here next week. So I'm super excited about that. I got to get some arrows for it and a, uh, a little, you know, I want to get it like a leather quiver. Might even do a hip quiver on something like that. I'm not sure yet. Um... Still plan on getting that ghost blind. I do got to double check to make sure that there's like not a ridiculous amount of uh, shipping wait time. There's some more pheasants here, so good. We can just go right on over here and try to shoot some more while I talk about this. Um, I don't think there's going to be a ridiculous amount of time, wait time on, uh... oh, what was I? Oh my goodness, I totally drew a blank. Oh, on the ghost blind. Duh. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to be probably ordering that next week. Um, hopefully it only takes a couple weeks. I'd like to have it. Whoa, what's that? Birds are flying. Must have been that one that called. See, you should always have your gun out. But, uh, yeah, I got a Bear Kodiak Magnum, a Fred Bear Kodiak ba uh, Magnum. Um, they made a older version of this bow, like, in the 70s, I believe, maybe even late 60s. And, uh, these have always been fantastic recurves. I'm not sure, you know, if most of my listeners know that, um, Fred Bear is, like, the granddaddy of bow hunting, um, besides the Native Americans, of course, but, uh, yeah, he really took it to the extreme, um, going after all the way from Alaska brown bear, um, with recurves and longbows, um, the guy was amazing, he's a founder of bow hunting for the white man, actually, and, uh, really respectable guy, alright, we got a pheasant right here, oh, a couple females, pretty sure there's a male around here somewhere, just heard him cackle, but I never did click on him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think he sees me. So let's walk up on him. Maybe I can nail him and then a couple of these females, or one of these females. Oh, he I lost him. I don't even know where he's at. That's my favorite on pheasant. When you don't know where they're at, and then all of a sudden they just kind of jump or... 
I think it's a good time just to whistle. Let's see what happens. I don't even know where he's at. There he is. Ooh. Swing on one. Ooh, got her too. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was fun. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, start shooting this man. I'm going to keep my gun out for a second because I really stirred them up good there. They might just come flying. Some of them might just come flying back. I've seen it done a dozen times, so. Just got to watch. All of a sudden, they'll just be coming right at you or swinging right by. Well, it doesn't look like it this time, but. Like, you might scare one over on that hill or something, and it'll just start flying towards you. When you're pheasant hunting, it doesn't hurt to make a make a racket. Alright, but yeah, not this time. But, uh, yeah, I'm super excited about... Oh, crap, I gotta mark that. I'm more worried about it. There's that. Oh, here's the male. Okay, the female's over there. All right, here we go. Uh, smaller one. Take a trophy shot of that one. Oh. Beautiful. Get back to this. Oh, that pheasant. I can't remember which one my pheasant call was in. Yeah, here it is. We'll just call once. We'll go get this female over here. Hen. I'm going to call her a female, but it's a hen. It's a rooster and a hen. But, um... Let's see. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm... I don't know. I might not I might hunt with the recurve this year I might not when I get that ghost blind it uh, I don't know I mean it depends on how well I adapt to this recurve because I've shot one recurve that man I was pretty good with it you know and then I shot a, a different recurve and I sucked so all right, there's this male over here, right on the other side of this road. I don't know if we'll get a shot at him, or he might just take off running. If you're not, if they're not in the grass, boy, they just take off running, and it's pretty hard to get them. But uh, I'm not sure. If I get this ghost blind, I might use that recurve if I know if I'm feeling comfortable with it. I obviously have to go out and shoot it. And I know I said that I was going to bring you guys that 3D archery, and I want to, I really do, but man, I just have not had the time. Or, you know, really, I mean, I've had my daughter's birthday, my, you know, I'm not to get, you know, too in-depth with my personal life, but you guys are cool, so why not? Um, my wife's grandmother passed away, uh, like a week ago, and... It was a few week process of her actually passing. So that was somewhere where my wife was at every day. Oh crap. Oh, I cannot believe I didn't hit that one. On that second shot, it's not gonna reach out there. Jeez, that would have been cool. Here I am sitting here blabbing my mouth. Yeah, who knows where that male's at. He was supposed to be right over here, but... Oh, there he is. He's right there in the grass. I just spotted him. But, uh... Yeah, she, has, she passed away, so... There's been a lot going on in my life right now, so I just well, haven't been able to get it back out there and and stuff like that but and I got hunting season coming up three weeks October 1st jeez guys it's not even a month away so I got I gotta put more boots on the ground in that hunting area I mean I I know 
I got a pretty good idea and all this and that, but you can just never put enough time in up to the hunting season. Let's see if we can't let him get out there just a little bit farther than the Oh, let's click on this one real quick. Make sure we know where he's at. Oh, what happened to it? Hey, is that another one right there? No, that's a rock. Oh yeah, we got another one around here. I don't know if this is going to spook him off, but... Oh no, he... Boy, I lost him in them trees, man. He just blended perfect. I think it's safe to say there ain't no more hogs around. I've just been blasting away. And man, he took off and he just, man, it was just like perfect camouflage. I couldn't pick him out. I missed that first one. I shot right over top of him. I, I mean, man, they could really fix that takeoff, that fluid motion from takeoff to the glide or, you know, like the you know it goes up and then it glitches it seems like and then he flies off in a different direction sometimes we'll experiment with this I don't know females kind of fly a little bit def different the males do take off like they're a lot heavier but it, it just could be a little bit more fluid motion is that, a, is that a pheasant that's him ain't it I wonder if he went far he didn't go far at all. I wonder if he'll hunker down. I don't know. Well, something was right there. I think that was another pheasant. Right up there. That might be a female feeding. That might have been that male right up there. I don't know. We're getting some action though. Is that a male? Yeah, it is a male. He's going to, uh... I gotta get the gun out right away on him. Because as soon as he starts taking off... Hopefully I can get up close. Alright, at this point I might be able to just pull the gun. Is he gonna hang up? Is he gonna take off running? What's he going to do? He's walking. Lay down. Just lay down. And these clouds, boy. Would these clouds go over that song? He laid down. I don't know, though. He's not liking it. He's not liking the situation here. These clouds and these shadows rolling over this grass, it just it looks pretty awesome. But, boy, it just camouflages the crap out of him. All right, there he is. He's looking good. There we go. Whoa, see, he just went that way, and... Did I get him? I hear another one. Nope. Oh, see, she glitched right there. Oh, my goodness. It was like a little... No, this is just horrible. Where's she at? Whoa, there's one. There's a male. Oh, I cannot believe I missed him. Are you kidding me? There he is, way over there. Oh my goodness, that was just bad. Mmm. That pisses me off. I'm just throwing them out there. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. That was a perfect situation. I don't even think I nailed one of these birds. Unbelievable. You don't run into that situation too often. You just kind of hit this corner. Look at that bird over there flying off. Damn it. 
Let's go take a look up here though, just to make sure I didn't clip that one. Kind of, I know he's probably just going down to land and run, but it was right after I shot, so let me go make sure I didn't pop him. Darn it. I could have got like four there, I think. I don't even know. All of a sudden, I just hear pheasants flying all over the place. Boy, I wish I could rewind and go back to that one. Should have the gun out, I think. Pig track. Well, they're calling already, so. New trail. He's way over there across the road. Oops. Yeah, we'll just take a look. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here is uh, work my way up that to that corn. Well, man, I've been getting so much action, but boy, I really blew that one. Should probably play with my. Uh, ex <laughs> you want to finish that sentence right away, there, slice? Should probably play with my sensitivity is. For a little bit, to try to see. I should have went to the the double clay. Should have went to the double clay and and practiced with the sensitivity, but I didn't notice that the sensitivity was going to be off, or you know messed up until I came into the game. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just totally like not with it right now. I wasn't even gonna make this video, but I said, "Heck, why not?" I seen a lot of, a lot of game, and thought it'd be a good opportunity because the last ten times I think I played this game, I've seen squat, nothing respectable, all does. I did make that video. I killed that 160, and we had a bunch of blacktail around us. That was fun. But um, sometimes when I just play this game by myself, oh my goodness, all I do is walk, walk and crouch walk and I'm seeing females and females and does. And at this point in the game, I feel like, you know, I play, I'm just kind of like trophy hunting, you know, and that's another thing that really slows things down because I don't kill everything that I see. This was that red deer right here that I spooked off earlier. He came around this way. Wonder if he crossed the river right here. Went back over to his homeland. Cause I don't think he was supposed to be over here. Yep, you can cross right there. There's red fox over there. But yeah, I'm super excited about this uh, bear uh, Kodiak Magnum that I've got coming. I'm going to get some nice feathered arrows. And this isn't going to be the only uh, recurve that I'm going to own. I actually have my eye on one that I'm going to try to get next year. Um, this one was just kind of like a pretty good starter bow for me. It's going to be a 50 pound draw weight. Uh you know I'll probably tip it with I don't know something like that I'll probably tip it with some rage broadheads because well I don't know because them things might not be they say them are great penetrators and I need something I want something that flies like a field point you know because I'm going to be practicing a lot with field points with that recurve and I just think that it would uh, really help the speed of the arrow not having a big like Magnus T broadhead on the end of it where it's you know just massive probably really uh, way up that front alright well I, let's see this pheasant's over here across this road he might have came over here by now
We'll give him a call here. See exactly where he's at. He's probably. And they mess around in them woods and then on them hills and the roads. They take off running. Yeah, as you can see, I fixed the audio. I don't know. I just started playing around with it and get and got it. I don't know why it would change. Um, it's been working fine for what I've noticed. And then all of a sudden, when I decided to do a video with um, Cal Hunter, it uh, started off pretty crappy, but it did kind of mellow itself out towards the uh, middle or maybe even before the middle of the the uh, video started boy everything looks like a pheasant right now they look don't be gone okay that's him he's right up here yeah I got my daughter's birthday party and I could have swore I'd just seen something running. Maybe not. That's just kind of where the hill meets the tree line over there. He should be in the grass. And he was a new... He was a new pheasant. So he shouldn't be all spooked up from me blasting away over there. Alright, I can't be messing around. I gotta, I gotta make these shots. And it, it just seems like I got my sensitivity, sensitivity up, my aim all the way up, but it works for the binos, but it really didn't speed up a whole lot, my gun. So I know this pheasant's down here somewhere. Might be. Let's just kind of glass it here. So I know there's some over there. That might be him. I thought he was a little bit closer though. Let's try to get to him before he ends up getting up on that hill. Boy, he's a caller. Oh no, that's a rediscovered. Ooh, he's right over here. I wonder if he's still all spooked out if he's going to take off flying just by me walking. I probably should crouch walk, but... I might be walking by a pheasant right now and I don't even know it. Yep, I got an orange shirt on. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. I think he's in the grass. There he is. Facing away from us. Alright, let's get ready for him. I'd hate to just blast him right off the ground, though. I, I like to let him get up a little bit. Where's she going? Where'd she go? Did she go through the trees? She did. She went down that way. Reload this bad boy. There might be more coming. The stupid rain. Yeah, she went through those trees. I kind of, I wish she would have flew across the road. I, I probably, I would have got a shot on her. Twenty-four, a little bit better. Not bad. Got a score of thirty on that one.
Yeah, I've been hearing some people saying that they don't like that idea of teams. I think it's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind teaming up with somebody against another team. and and Because uh, I get in big buck contests all the time. Like I, I'm not in one yet this year. I should actually look for one to get in. Um, usually, lo you know, bars, local bars. In Wisconsin, they, they, they were pretty popular. Uh, you get into a big buck contest and... And uh, the winner usually gets like a bottle of blackberry brandy. It's kind of like tradition. If you kill a deer, you got to drink some blackberry brandy. I don't know why. It's pretty cool. But uh, I'm not a drinker, so. But when I kill my big one, my, my dad and my uncle got me drunk on blackberry brandy. It was pretty cool. But yeah, I got some pheasants out here in this field. And I don't know, I might kick one up any second because I'm just going in buck wild on this one. But then I know there's females over here for sure, but I don't know if there's anything else around. I'm just going to walk. I'm wondering where that male's at. Oh, I just seen one lay down. I'm not sure if it was that male, a male with that female. Where's she at? I think she's I thought I saw one hunker down right over here there's one there she is <laughs> boom folded her that was just about limit reach right there Up. Is that that male right there? I think it is. Alright. I think there's another one right over there on my right, too. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Is he running? He's coming back this way, I think. Oh, that's a female. Alright, so this one's definitely our priority. That, that looked like a male right here in the rain. This one's a male, I know that. That was a pretty smooth. Nice lead shot. That female still over here? Where'd she go? Am I even looking in the right spot? There's that dead female. She probably took off. She's right over here. She might be still hunkered down though. Let's just go take a look real quick. Well, I like folding them birds like that, man. That, that is fun. Oh, and they had in that survey also dogs. Man, if they brought duck hunting and, you know, goose hunting, waterfowl hunting into this game and introduced, like, labs, springers, freaking uh, golden retrievers, um, wire, wire share, wire, uh, I can't forget the, how to pronounce that. But uh, they bring them that dogs in to where you can bring them out pheasant hunting. They'll retrieve for you pointers, stuff like that. 
I mean, they could make a great amount of money because I'll buy a dog for, you know, five bucks, five, ten bucks. I ain't got no problem with that. And, uh, you know, and if people want to be douchebags and you shoot your dog, then guess what? Your dog's gone. <laughs> That's what I would make it. And you have to buy another dog. There'd be like a little picture of a tombstone and you know maybe you're you in handcuffs for animal cruelty but if it's an actual accident you know it can happen but uh i think there's an nope thought there was a pheasant over there but yeah that would be freaking awesome you know wouldn't it having a dog hit the water to go retrieve your ducks man or a, a nice pointer pinning these birds down and it is freaking downpouring rain it was a beautiful day but yeah that would be pretty awesome have a hunting group I mean what's wrong with having a um, a team based uh hunting group you know I don't see any problem with it guys go on group hunts all the time in here in the states I don't know like you even get an extra doe tag for camp meat and you know obviously everybody's like oh yeah you know you got a great buck but my buck's bigger you know and it's all in fun it's not like it's all serious like ha 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 or anything like that I mean it's all in good nature. If you see the big ones, you see the big ones, man. You know, if you don't, you don't. There's little tactics you can use to, to tip the tip the odds in your favor, but it's nothing, you know, weird. Or like any doesn't take away from the, the you know, it's it, it's called a sport because it's hard. And, you know, I mean, just like you got to be in, you know, athletic and and as much walking as I do and uh, climbing a tree stand and, you know, pulling back 70 pounds and dragging deer out of the woods or dragging animals, carrying animals out of the woods, carrying tree stands on my back. It's a sport. I mean, there ain't no doubt about it. People misinterpret it, real life hunting as uh, like, oh, it's a sport, like it's just a, it's a game. <laughs> you know, that's not, it's called a sport because it's difficult and you actually have to have, you know, athleticism and, and be um, smart and be responsible and be, you know, everything that, you know that would require you to uh, be good at a sport you know so I don't know where people they just want to come up with their own shit so whatever but anyways yeah if I uh, start shooting that Kodiak uh, recurve and I, I'm doing real well with it right at the beginning I'll hunt I'll, I'll use it when I uh, hunt behind that ground blind I've made the commitment I'm going to get the ghost blind because, and I don't know, you know, it might be a great investment. I might end up killing all kinds of animals behind it. Or it might be the worst damn thing that I should have never wasted my money on. And then I'll try to sell it for a hundred bucks on eBay. So, no. <laughs> But um, I probably should actually check eBay to see if I can't get one cheaper. But I just don't know about trusting stuff like that. You know, I mean, you're talking, I don't know. I mean, I know you always want them to have good reputations and stuff. But I just don't buy a whole lot of shit on eBay. But anyways, I think I just seen a pheasant lay down right here. So I'm just going to pull out the gun. Either that or I'm seeing shit because of this rain. 
and uh, let's talk a little bit more about this hunting season every day I look at that Google Earth um, overhead view of the hunting land I'm gonna be because I know it doesn't match boots on the ground as far as you know putting the time in and walking the hunting land and getting to know but since I don't have that kind of time that, you know and this is a great tool anyway the Google Earth is a great tool I mean hell you can see deer trails from Google Earth I mean so I mean that's not like it's hurting anything but things do change and they do look different on the ground you know it's not like I can find something on from the Google Earth and just pinpoint walk right to it when I get to the land you know because I need to print that out because I actually don't have a map I mean I got that little wimpy map of it of the hunting land but that doesn't even barely show crap it just shows where the markers are and kind of where the trails kind of lead and how they curve around and stuff like that but uh anyways I think I've rambled enough it's pouring down rain I haven't heard anything I kind of need to call I've shot some pheasants maybe I'll try to make my way up north a little bit doing all this talking in the rain I'm not gonna hear him call anyway unless I be quiet for a little while and just start walking north here I'm not too far away from the uh, cornfields so hopefully I can run into some pheasants up there and I'll be back. But if not, it was a short but sweet. Wanted to let you guys know I got a recurve coming, which is pretty awesome. I'm excited about it. And I uh, got hunting season coming up in three weeks, guys. So, so be ready for that. I'm not really sure what footage to bring you as far as hunting season goes. I'm not just going to bring you an hour footage. I don't see nothing. I'm just sitting there looking around. But... I also want to put just a little something out there. I mean, uh, every day that I go out, um, wouldn't mind, you know, I'll probably just put like a five minute video if I don't see nothing. Hopefully, I see some squirrels messing around or, or stuff like that. And I still haven't decided if I'm go where I'm going to hunt opening weekend. And I'm also holding on to two days of vacation. To save my, I mean, for the, for, I'm holding on to two days vacation, you know, that is, come on, what is this, the wild boar over there, okay, anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm holding on to a couple days vacation, I'm not sure when to use them, if I should use them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, of opening weekend, and that is a pheasant right there, ain't it? So I might as well just walk over here and blast this since... Or try to, at least. It's a female. But hey, why not? Just see what happens here. Or, if I should just hold on to them... And hunt the nice, strong days of the rut. The four, you know, I want to do like... Whatever weekend falls around the 11th of November. Um whatever Thursday and Friday or Monday and Tuesday that falls around the November 11th it will be the two days that I want to use my vacation days so <laughs> I don't know I mean, it's it's kind of a toss up if I can pattern a doe at least because man I really want to kill a deer like opening weekend before these deer get really educated that they're being hunted because remember guys I am hunting public land and uh, to get a jump on them before they actually realize what's going on would be a huge advantage nice shot man I think I popped her right in the back of the head <laughs> that was great but um, but then again man I would love to have them four days during the rut right around November 11th just after Halloween I mean it's a magical time in the woods 
if you sit all day long you got like probably a 90% chance of seeing deer so and uh <laughs> it, it, your your chances of seeing a really nice buck um at, when they start getting hunted at the beginning of October is probably about a 1% well one deer out of 12 that you saw and to see 12 deer that takes some really really nice land um you might see a nice buck but in during the rut your chances are about 50 50 may no no probably 30 30 70 40 60 because if you get a hot mama doe boy moving through those woods getting chased and they cover a lot of ground so you got that much more of a chance to see a deer and uh, that big old buck chasing off those little bucks because they got to fight for them does. Them little bucks, boy, they they get horny too and they try to chase them does and when a buck's looking left, he's trying to scoot her off to the right to try to get her, you know, and, and then he's got to fight that one off and then the other one comes in. Um, it's pretty crazy and... and Got a pretty good chance. I did see some crazy shit last year. I never did get a shot. So that just goes to show you. I mean, I had two monster bucks 20 yards from me circling. I mean, they were just... Just drag. I mean, they were chasing this doe. Driving her just mad. And she was sweating. And, and uh, you know, they've been known to run them dead. So, because they just can't... They just don't turn, go into estrus. And when that starts happening, and them does just ain't ready, because there'll be like a quiet time before the rut. And that's those does really sticking to thick cover, because they just don't want to be harassed by them little bucks. And uh, it's a great time. So I don't know if I want to use four days for that, or really try to get a jump on these deer. Whoa, there's a pig. Really get a jump on these deer early season is a little female which would be uh, work I mean it would be immensely advantaged in my so I don't know what to do um, haven't decided yet the time isn't here maybe I'll take some of you guys suggestions if they sound uh, logical legitimate because basically the chance of me shooting a deer in October, unless it's opening weekend, are probably slim. Very slim. But when that magic starts happening with the rut, them bucks, they kind of let down their defenses. They start showing up in daylight hours. And they only got one thing on their mind. One and a half things on your mind. And the one thing on their mind is, uh, yep those girls and the half thing on their mind is you now the does during the rut they'll they'll bust you they'll still bust you like normal because um if they spot you and take off their tail flying he ain't gonna stick around he's chasing after her so he's gonna be gone so you still gotta you gotta hunt pretty smart and not just stand out there you know thinking that deer are gonna come right by you doe spots you she runs off the other way guess where the buck's gonna go off the other way with her but when they're cruising and searching for them does and they actually haven't found one that's about to come into estrus um that could be a good time too you know but boy it happens fast all of a sudden you know you you got deer right underneath you cruising through you know trotting through and whoa what is that it looked like something But them does, boy, they come running through there fast. It's hard to kill a buck on her, on her ass because he's grunting and snorting and trying to keep up with her, and he's hot and you know tongue hanging out, and they don't give you much time. And that's where I think that recurve really might come in handy. Do some snap shooting on a nice big old buck come trotting through. You know, not paying attention to what's going on around him. He's just kind of looking for does. 
and because uh, you know it takes a little bit to pull that bow back and next thing you know he's already headed away from you with a recurve it's a little different you just kind of like pull back make sure you're lined up and whack you know you're you're done but all right let me check some more of these cornfields and I haven't even heard a pheasant cackle in a while, I don't think. I've been doing too much talking. But it was fun. And I'm going to check these cornfields out if I don't see anything. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't, hit the, don't forget to hit the like buttons. Um, I don't know why I say that. It's not like I'm getting paid for this shit. But I just like it when people hit the like buttons and leave me comments. Uh, I do read them all. Um, if I don't respond to you... Uh, yeah sorry but yeah I do have a couple questions I do got to respond to that I haven't yet some guy asked me for my PC specs um, I haven't got around to that and uh, some other things but I really do appreciate you guys watching I hope you guys like this type of shit because I like doing it and I want to keep doing it for you guys so let me know and we will catch you later and we might just be back so who knows but I just wanted to do that um, outro there just to make sure in case I don't come back so we'll see alright guys well I decided to come back because I got three males right there on the edge of this cornfield and I'm going to try to get two of them whether I will I doubt it what was that a? I think that's a roe deer. Yeah, just a little female. So, I'm just gonna try to hunker these birds down. Try to get two of them. There's a hog over there on the horizon. He's running. What'd the other two do? They both hunkered down. I got two right here. That one was smart. He was like, you guys can stay here if you want. I'm out. Alright. So I got one flying away from me and one flying towards me. So, uh... I'm a little nervous. Oh crap. Oh crap, I missed them. Oh, I cannot believe I missed that one too. Unbelievable. Shit. Damn. Wow, look at that wind, boy. It's blowing out there hard. I cannot believe I missed that first one. Unbelievable. See, I got two antsy. I had two birds of two males in front of me. First opportunity of the night to get a double, and I don't don't get either one of them. So that sucks. Alright. Well. See you later.